Out of all the shows I watched up to this point, this was the first one that I didn't really enjoy. Now, I don't think the show is bad, but overall, I didn't enjoy watching the show. This show is about Takamichi Hanagaki. He's struggling in the work world and is a big pushover. One day, he catches a news report saying that his girlfriend from middle school died. He becomes sad, but tries to continue with his life until someone pushes him onto the train tracks. He awakens, but he's in his body from when he was in middle school. This is the time of his life where he realizes why he became a pushover, and he tries to start over, until he meets his girlfriend's brother, Naoto. For some reason, when Takamichi makes contact with him, he gets sent back to the present. With this new ability in hand, him and Naoto try to stop his sister from dying. It's a very interesting premise that feels very similar to Erased. Although it may seem like Erased, I don't think it's as good as it. Takamichi is a character that I really dislike. A part of the show revolves around how Takamichi doesn't want to be a pushover anymore, and the only way forward is to become more confident and attack the obstacles in his way. While there are various parts where he does this, in the whole grand scheme of things, I feel like he doesn't really change that much. He struggles a lot to become a person who can change the future, which is nice, but there are so many times where the things he does don't make much sense. Now I've heard he gets better and better, but his character development was too slow for me. Speaking of the characters in the show, besides Takamichi, I really enjoy them. Mikey and Draken, while separate, they have their own problems, together, they balance each other out. The other gang members get a lot of backstory and development as well. There are reasons behind why they do specific things, which are pretty nice. There's also Hina, who is Takamichi's girlfriend. She's more confident than he is, and she really pushes him forward, which is also nice. Also, the opening is pretty good. Not a big fan of it, but a lot of people like it. With all the good points, you'd think I'd like this show, like so many others. But I just thought it was alright. I'm not the biggest fan of gang war or delinquent type stories. I know there's more going for it in the story, but most of the conflict revolves around which gang is the strongest. I like when Takamichi investigates though, because in order to find intel, he switches between the past and the present, which I think is a really cool way of using the time travel mechanic. Speaking of that, the tension in the show comes from that mechanic. However long he spends in the past is reflected in the real world. If he spends a week in the past, then a week passes in real life, so there's no do-overs. If he fails, it's over, and that's a really interesting concept. As much as I want to say I liked this show, I didn't really enjoy watching it. I'm still going to continue it because I've heard it gets better, but I don't know. If you'd like to watch this show, it's on Crunchyroll and surprisingly, HBO Max.